Hi there, Carl Massey here, coach, strategist, and author of a few books. The most recent thing, The Successful Mind. I'm working on book number five, Decision Making Mastery. And welcome to today's session of the Life Masterclass. Coming to you all the way from beautiful Bali, and it is super beautiful outside. I'm looking over my balcony, blue skies, a couple of clouds, good sunshine. So I hope it's gorgeous wherever you are on this uh, incredible planet of ours. So welcome to the Life Masterclass podcast, where I'm all about helping you increase your level of success vitality, vibrancy, happiness, joy, bliss, and anything else you want to put into that by coming up with very practical tips, tools, and strategies to help you get there. And along with that, if you haven't listened to any before, make sure you check out the guided meditations, which I do once a month. And they're about getting inside and doing the inner work um, to create change from within. So definitely worth checking those out. Now today is a subject near and dear to me. The book I was flashing around before was the guidebook to authentic success. So the idea of what is it that enables us to experience success and experience success right down to our bones. So that's been a subject that's fascinated me for about 20 plus years or so. And um, the, the piece that I want to focus on today is this idea of embracing discomfort. And I personally believe that unless we get better at or more able to embrace discomfort, the level of success we're going to experience might evade us altogether or it might not be at the level that we're capable of. If we use discomfort as feedback as to whether we're doing the right thing or wrong thing, you know, for us professionally, for us personally, for us in our relationship, if we use that as the yardstick, well, it feels a bit painful. It's a bit discomforting. And therefore, I must be doing the wrong thing and I step away from it. And I did work with a client one time that that was her yardstick. That was her measure as to whether she was on her path, on her chosen path, on her calling. If she was going along and there was too much discomfort, then she would like, okay, this must be wrong, back off. For me, like, the discomfort is part of the growth process and growth is necessary for us to hit the full level of our potential, the full level of our success. So I trained as a personal trainer years ago and I'm always fascinated with the physicality of things as well. If I go into a gymnasium and I lift a pissy little weight with very little resistance, I'm actually unlikely to grow my muscles. It's not until I pick up a muscle, oh, pick up a muscle, pick up a weight that has enough resistance that causes me to feel discomfort as I'm doing those repetitions that my muscles actually grow. So the muscle starts to break down, that's the discomfort, and then the body overcompensates. There's this level of intelligence in the body that says, ah, we need to build ourselves bigger so we can handle that resistance that's coming at us from life and from the gym in this particular case. So I can't build up my physicality. I can't grow physically unless I'm actually feeling discomfort. So that discomfort is part of the process. So, you know, taking that example and that metaphor into our life, if we're not willing to embrace discomfort, we're unlikely to have the level of success and the measure of success that is our true potential. Now, I'm, I've written about health and I'm fascinated about health and I've studied it for about 20 years, written about it for 15 years. One of the things I'm seeing that's very mm, somewhat disturbing for me in this current day and age we're in is people's discomfort with feeling illness. Take a common cold, for example. So if we don't experience and be okay with feeling crook for a couple of days and we just want to take a pharmaceutical, as soon as we feel uncomfortable, we'll never learn to move through that. And the intelligence of our body and our immune system won't have the ability to upgrade if we don't allow that process to happen. A lot of times the flu symptoms are our body detoxifying. detoxifying. And, you know, it might be we like have stuff come of our nose, might cough some stuff out. That's our body getting rid of the stuff that it doesn't need, removing that from it. 
There might be a fever and that fever goes up to maybe burn away some of the stuff inside that isn't serving us. So this idea of we need to be able to embrace um, discomfort in order to experience the full potential that each and every one of us has. Now the disclaimer I'll say to this is there is a difference between discomfort and pain. So, you know, I was, I've been doing yoga for about 20 years and involved in a yoga center for five years. And in yoga, we would teach that you want to push yourself to the edge when you're doing asana. You know, push yourself a little bit further each time. And this is a great metaphor for life as well. Push ourselves a little bit more. But you want to back off once you start feeling pain. Because if you go into pushing against pain, you might actually cause yourself injury. So this is the same in life. We want to push ourselves along and push a little bit more and push a little bit more. But there is a point where it might slip from discomfort to pain. We need to be self-aware of that. And if we're not aware of that enough ourselves, like we need to have that person outside that's looking over our shoulder or that mentor or that coach or that other person that can help us say, hey, I think you're going too far too soon. I think you need to back it in exactly like a sporting coach would do if they're training someone. They're training that elite athlete and they say, look, I think we need to back off. You need to take a little bit rest because if you push it too far, too long um, over this consistent period, you might actually start doing some damage. So the full essence and in summary of this conversation with you right now, in order to draw out the absolute best that you can become is learn to embrace the discomfort know that that's part of the path, that's part of the journey to your own greatness and your evolution. Don't back off from pain. Don't back off from that tough conversation with that person, maybe that intimate person in your life, because it might be that going through that discomfort and that uncomfortable conversation will take your relationship to a depth and level that you've never experienced before. And this is in so many facets of our life. So embrace the discomfort, get better at embracing that and feeling that discomfort and not running away from it. Sit there in, you know, the powerful being that you are and like, I know I've got this, I can handle this. I breathe through it and I breathe through it and that allows me to handle a little bit more discomfort without getting reactive and flipping into a stress response, a fight, flight or freeze response breathing your way through it. And again, I talked about guided meditations. They're a great way to build up the inner fortitude so that you can handle those particular things. Meditation, another one, building up the fortitude so you can handle not only physical discomfort, but most importantly, emotional, psychological, mental discomfort. Those are the things that are going to elevate your success and take your success up to a whole new level. So there you go, the message. Embrace that discomfort and you'll be embracing a higher potentiality for your own success and greatness. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If this was useful conversation for you, I'd be very, very grateful if you pass it on to others that might draw something out of it as well and um, get the benefit of this message. So thank you very much for that in advance. If you would like to reach out to me asking me questions or work with me further, don't hesitate. Um, I'll have the website details down below, carlmassey.com. Also, I'm very excited to announce that in the very near future, the end of November, I'm going to be hosting my Life Masterclass online. So for all those people that couldn't come to Bali to have the experience of the Life Masterclass with me or down in Melbourne or over in Berlin when I did it over there, an opportunity to come together to learn everything that I've learned over the last 51 years and over the last 20 years most particularly. And we do some powerful techniques in there to create lasting shifts. So um, I'll put a link down below or like there'll be something there to go to my website to check out more details about that. And if you want to stay um, in touch on the details of that, make sure you sign up for my newsletter at my website. So that is all from me. Have a fantastic, gorgeous, incredible day wherever you are on this beautiful, incredible 
hopefully sunny, hopefully, well, it doesn't really matter. Wh whatever the weather is, it can be beautiful wherever you are. So have a fantastic day and take care.